Hello and welcome. This is Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. And this will be really exciting for those out there who have never actually done this by hand, but uh, we're not actually going to copy and paste any code in this tutorial. We're going to do it all by hand. Now, of course, afterwards you can find the code that I'm using in my on my website, but uh, if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to uh, see if you can do that. Uh, matter of fact, I was highly recommended that at some point you do this by hand uh, just because repetition and doing it is a key to being very successful in learning how this stuff works. The more ways you can do it, the more unique angles you can come, to, come from to get something done in your training experience, the more you'll know that product. Uh, so let's hope that this is helpful to you and uh, that you enjoy it and learn a great deal. We're going to be working with some of the things that we've already worked with, uh, but this time we're also going to introduce uh, the click button uh, so that we can have an event that uh, a listener will listen for and uh, we will also have some check boxes um, and when you check those boxes that'll be the event uh, that will be listened for and then we'll do something with that. Uh, we'll incorporate uh, not only that but also we'll see again uh, the use of the toaster. So let's get started. Uh, to begin with I would like for you to create just a generic blank plain old vanilla click through generic um, application like my application nothing in here other than what the uh, the, uh, com the computer and the program has decided is in here I've added nothing and we're just gonna go in here and get rid of this all right so we're gonna start with just that what we want to do is we want to add some widgets uh, they're called checkboxes and we want to add three checkboxes one two, three, and then we want to add a button. And let's put the button over here. All right, now we want to go in here and change these. Now, you can either change these here or change them over here, uh, but we're going to change the text to red. Checkbox. We're going to change the name to underscore red the ID uh, yes double click here blue underscore blue now if you can remember the two that's fine but I am uh, more prone to remember the actual names and Let's use yellow. Underscore yellow. And then when I want to rename the button, uh, let's call it select and just leave it button. Okay. Now, another thing we want to do is we want to go back in here and actually change. Uh, the background color of the button to match the color. So here, click this little thing, go to red, just to add a little bit something more. Right here, go to blue and yellow. Right here, yellow, all the way to yellow. There we go. So, visual, re visual representation as well as writing. Now, one of the things I want to show you, well, actually, let's move this down here just to the middle, is I want to show you another aspect of this uh, because it, how it is aligning, it looks a little funky. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to do wrap content right here, width. We're going to change this to say... 400 DP and copy and copy that and enter. All right, and we're going to do 
that the same to all three of those. That way they'll be all the same length. There we go. There we go. That looks much better. Actually, this is probably can be moved up just a tiny bit to match the others. There. All right. Now we're going to have to do some changes in the Java file. So go to uh, Java, main example, main activity. Double click there. And this is where we're going to be putting our code. The first thing that we want to do is we want to add our variables. So we've got three checkboxes and a button. So we're going to add variables for those. And we're going to make them private. Uh, and let me see, that would be... Checkboxes. Checkbox. Call them check one, check two, and check three. And we'll also do private button and we'll call this button underscore select all right right here see how this is red we have to add uh, the import for the widgets here so go over it and push alt enter and it adds it right there so that's all good next we're going to go down here and create our method I'm going to use public void because it's not going to return anything and add listener on button going to add our curly braces and then we're going to go down here and we're going to create uh, cast our checkboxes of ID check one equals check check box box and we want to do Find view by ID, and we're going to do R dot ID dot, and we used red checkbox red. All right, close that, and basically what you want to do is copy this. And repeat it three times, but just you have to make sure that your spelling is correct, or you end up having to do a lot of editing. Uh, just change this to the two, this to the three, change this to uh, blue. Change this to yellow. There, you're done with that part. Next, we want to do our button. So we'll put in button select equals, and we're going to use button. dot button then we want to add our listener and here 
button ah, button select dot set on click listener this is where typing set on quick listener um, and then we put an argument here we want uh, a new on click listener and that'll do that this will take three arguments and we are going to add first of all string buffer string buffer and we're going to call it result equals new string buffer and close that next line result um, append and got to put this on make this say uh, red so that when it's checked on red it will say something about red and then I'm gonna append uh, a check if checked uh, so check check one uh, is checked oh, I went auto field there all right so we're going to use this uh, and actually close it I'm going to use this uh, three times for all three colors red blue and yellow I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to redo the names. And this will give us a uh, true false result uh, if that item is checked. Now we need to make this message appear toast. So let's go down here to toast. Uh, I need to make tasks text. Uh, let's just type it make text and we're going to get this text of course um, alt enter index appy code and introduce local variable no alt enter there that's what it was supposed to do and it added toast up here at the top to import which is what we need uh, and we're going to get this message from, of course, main activity uh, this. And uh, the message itself will come from result. And we have to cast it as a two string. So there's that. And then we want to put. And then comma and the final bit toast uh, get off way scroll down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing toast and we want to do length and you can choose between long and short length and I'm going to choose short and then close Oh, I forgot. We have to add the show command to the end. Show. So it will show. Okay. And there's the toast for that. Now that we've got our method written, we want to call it. So go up here. Copy. Take it up here. Right up into here. And it will call it when it calls the other methods. Make sure you close it. And then we just run it. 
real quick before we run it I want you to come down here and at some point in this um, I personally messed this up um, so it one of the things you need to be very careful about is where you place your semicolons your curly braces and your brackets uh, your end should look something like this there should be four curly braces a bracket and a semicolon um, the first time I ran this I got an error because I had inadvertently uh, deleted a curly brace at one point so this is what it should look like and then it'll run with this and of course if you're getting this off the website it'll already be like this alright so let's go up here and run it and then take a look at it and this is what it looks like when it's running click on the different things you can unclick boxes and I'm gonna click on the red and because we have this short it won't show up for very long but you can see true false false true for red because it's checked and these other two will be false and if you want to check you know do the backwards false true true now if you wanted to make this stay up longer you could go back into your code and make that long instead of short and it would last about twice as long so that's pretty cool uh, you've written an app completely by hand if you followed it along uh, and if not you it's an easy app to make it won't take you any time to learn how to do this uh, the other thing that you can do is look forward to the next tutorial where I'll be doing a, sort of the kind of the next same thing but we'll be doing it with radio buttons and the difference between check boxes and radio buttons is radio buttons give you a list and allow you to check one thing at a time while check boxes allow you to check each box so I could check all three things but if this was a radio button selection I could only check one and we'll do basically the same thing with three colors and a radio button so this is Aceless John thank you for joining me be sure to thumbs up and subscribe